the news is brought to you by the National Bank of the Virgin Islands, Cyril B. Romney Tertola Pier Park, NV Salon Spa Nail and Barbershop, the Wellness Center, Medical and Behavioral Health Clinics, Tissily Cross Deliciously Smooth Cider, HOV Medical and Digicel, simply more speed, reliability and entertainment. The Great Debate, District 9 Candidates, VIP Vincent Whitley. I have said it before, and I will say it here now again, there has never been more action in a four-year period in this district than in my four years. PVIM Shireen Flax Charles. We need a tourism model that works for us and our people. Not one so politically disastrous and nonsensical that our competitors are happy. NDP Coy Levin. How many election periods has passed and the issues are not addressed? But six months before election, you got story to tell the people as if the people there is ignorant and don't have understanding. Independent Vernon Vantapool. The Great Debate. Virgin Gorda, April 14, 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. at Catholic Community Center. And Annie Gata, April 16, 1 p.m. to 4.30 p.m. Emil Dunlop Community Center. The Virgin Islands Party VIP campaign rally reached the home district of the sitting Premier and Minister of Finance, Dr. The Honorable Natalia Wheatley, as they campaigned the district to return him to the House of Assembly, but more, return the Virgin Islands Party as the ruling one which will result in Dr. Wheatley becoming Premier once again. If it be God's will that I'm elected with a majority you will be electing the premier of the Virgin Islands. The first leader of government that the East has had since the late great Willard Wheatley, my grandfather. As premier, I am in the position to appoint ministers to lead an agenda, to hold ministers accountable to the people, and they'll hold me accountable. And by God's grace and mercies, six persons of the team sitting behind me will have the opportunity to be a minister or junior minister. And we have a whole team of individuals who are capable to be ministers, any single one of them could be a minister. Because some persons say that we have quantity and they have quality, but guess what? We have quantity and quality. We have both, they lack in a little quantity. And I won't say anything about their quality because I want to be nice tonight. God bless them. And the team will deliver for the people of the 7th District. Premier Whitley outlined a list of things he credited the party and himself as achieving for District 7, but also took time out to explain that district representatives hold no money for district works, but rather ministries. And let me tell you something. Somebody can tell you all the things they want to do for you. But you must ask them how they will accomplish all these marvelous things. You cannot accomplish these fantastic, wonderful plans without money. How much money do you think that a district rep receives right now at this very moment for his or her district? How much money do you think our district rep receives? Do you know that right now, a district representative does not receive one dime? Not one red cent. Any work that is to be done in any district must be done through a ministry. The ministry will only be able to execute a project or initiative which is in the budget. As Minister of Finance, 
my team at the Ministry of Finance must present me with a budget. I have the authority to say, take this out and put this in. And I can take it to my colleagues in cabinet and the House of Assembly to have it passed. If it be God's will that I'm elected with a majority, I can ensure that the money for the progress for the people of the 7th District is in the budget. And I will ensure that there's equity, there's equity among all the districts. That each district gets its fair share, but no one will forget about the 7th District. Prior to implementing the recommendations of the Commission of Inquiry, representatives were allotted significant sums of monies individually as public assistance, which were used at their discretion to assist individuals. Now, meantime, Premier Whitley is begging to be returned, assuring residents that of District 7 that the four years in government and the months he sat as Premier have matured him. District 7, this is a leadership that is humble enough to acknowledge that it has made mistakes. And yes, District 7, I have made mistakes. And District 7, that greedy bill was a mistake. And on the first opportunity I have, the first piece of legislation that we will repeal will be that greedy bill. And yes, we have made other mistakes as well. This four-year period has been filled with lessons. I present you a leadership that will learn those lessons, correct those mistakes, and be a better leadership for you. I present to you a leadership that will not be a puffed up leadership. Pushing up your chest as though you are without sin and without blame. Whitley was appointed a premier at the fall of Andrew A. Foy as premier who was arrested in April of 2022 and to date remains a subject of the United States criminal justice system. Hi, I'm Cowboy, and I'm running for stake pre no, no, president's of stake. Thank you. And I will meet your needs. Some bathrooms are so expensive to build, they come with security. But at Staycation Butchers, our meats are affordable. People always ask me, Cowboy, where does your salmon come from? Well, our salmon comes from the Wata. I vote for Cowboy. It's a vote for quality, integrity, and consistency. So come into Staycation Butchers and cast your vote for me, your next president of state. Alexandra Durant approves this message. No, I don't. We know that where you choose to bank matters, and it is your vote on what your funds do in strengthening our community. As your official bank of paradise, we invest and support the lifeblood of our economy by helping in the realization of personal goals for homeownership, education, and entrepreneurial visions, which support small businesses. We make it our place to connect with persons and worthy causes, and we have been doing so for more than 30 years. Where your money goes and what your dollars empower are your choice. And we thank you for choosing us, a bank that gives where it matters the most, for you, for our community, and a happier tomorrow.
the National Bank of the Virgin Islands.